you have to overcome this one thing if you want to create and attract your dream life. I don't think enough people speak about this one thing that holds so many people back from creating the life that they desire. And that is the fear of being seen by other people. The fear of being seen by your mother, by your aunt, by your grandmother, by your one friend that makes fun of everything that you're doing. And that fear of what they might think is exactly why you're not living your dream life yet. Because you know exactly what you need to do. You know exactly who you need to be. But you're scared that the people in your life will not agree with you or they will see you differently or they will judge you for the life that you're wanting to create. Oftentimes what can also happen is that you're scared to outgrow the people in your life. Maybe it is your sister. Maybe it is your mother. Maybe you actually know exactly how to create your dream life and how to get there and who you need to be. But you also know that once you create that, you will be outgrowing the people in your life. You have probably learned that it's not okay to outshine other people, that it's not okay to make other people feel less or to show yourself as you're better than others, which at all is not the case. But often we sabotage ourselves because we believe that when we pursue our dreams, we might even feel guilty for other people not pursuing theirs. We are scared that if we do the very thing that we want to do, other people might envy us or might change the way that they see us. I have a current client and I shared a couple of stories already about her before and she's incredible at what she's doing. Uh, she's an artist and she might even be watching this video. And I remember we had a one-on-one -on -one session and she shared with me the fear of if she truly showed who she is on social media and she showed her personality, she was scared that her family would not approve of who she really is authentically. The fear is absolutely normal and it's something that I think a lot of people unconsciously are actually struggling with. But in order for you to overcome this, you also have to look at yourself as the pioneer, the trailblazer, if you say so, in terms of what you're doing and who you want to be and what you are achieving. If you are scared of what people might think of you, especially your closest people, it's probably also because no one else in your family has done what it is that you want to do or what it is that you want to create. And that is completely completely normal because you are stepping into a version of yourself that probably not a lot of people in your life have done before. And when you're doing that, you are not only leading the way, but you're doing something that is uncertain, that is new, that you don't know what's going to be on the other side, really. And you're leading the way. You're leading the way by showing what you're capable of doing, what you're capable of achieving, while also being okay with the people in your life not following, while being okay with the people in your life not agreeing, while being okay with no one else having done what you are meant to do. And this can be really hard. This, this actually happened to me a couple of years ago when I started my business and my mom started her business at the same time. Now, the businesses that we have are very different from each other. But during this time, as I started my business, within a very short amount of time, I made more money than I could have imagined. And I remember how guilty I felt because I saw my mom and that was during COVID and her business was really affected by that. It was the opposite for me. And so I saw her really struggling with the whole COVID situation while the money came so easily to me. It made me feel like it wasn't fair. And obviously on some level it wasn't because I truly felt sorry for everyone affected by the whole situation that was, you know, a couple of years ago. But at the same time, I also had to be okay with this didn't mean that I should be feeling guilty. It was more of like proving to myself I can do this. And the more abundance I have, the more I can also give to other people and help them lead their way. And so this really helped me shift my perspective in terms of I wasn't outgrowing my mom or it wasn't fair, but it was more of like the more abundant I am, the more I can help the people in my life, the more I can also inspire the people in my life to follow their dreams and to do what's best for them. And so I realized it was actually just a matter of time that once you lead the way in your family, all around, you know, with your friends, there's going to be people who will not agree with you, but eventually there's going to be someone who's going to look at you and is going to be like, like she's doing that. She's leading the way. She's inspiring. I'm looking up to her and the people that take the first steps in creating something that hasn't been done before, they oftentimes get a lot of backlash. I just recently something about saw something about Lady Gaga and how her classmates were making fun of her 
that she was never going to be famous and things like that. And obviously the whole world knows Lady Gaga now. If you like her or not, it doesn't really matter. But she had a lot of backlash too. But she was the first one to lead the way and be okay with people hating on her. It, of course it hurt. Of course it wasn't easy. She didn't take whatever they were saying seriously. She didn't allow that to stop her from pursuing her dream. There is such a thing as guilt of like when a new generation outgrows the old generation, all of a sudden you have a lot more things, a lot more money, a lot more success, wealth than the older generation. It can also feel like, you know, it's it's not good or it shouldn't be this way or I shouldn't outgrow my family. But I see the other way of like, by you doing that, you're able to then support the people in your life so much better. And isn't that so much more valuable than just, you know, trying to stay small so that you fit in and everyone likes you. That's not how it's going to work. And one thing that I also learned as we're concluding this is someone said to me, who's very wealthy and successful, they said to me, the moment people start hating on you, that's the moment you know you're on the right path. I cannot tell you how many weird comments I get here on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. Like there's always going to be people who are going to say some shit sorry to say it like that, like there's always going to be people who are going to say things that are like, why? Like, why are you putting that energy into me? But at the same time, I also know, okay, but if I wouldn't get these comments, that means I would be invisible. People wouldn't see me. So that means I'm doing something right, right? I, I also get a lot of positive comments and a lot of love and, and, and support, but I also get a lot of the opposite. And I have to be okay with both because the more that you grow as a person, the more backlash you're going to get, the more people are not agree, are not going to agree with you. Because oftentimes while people say these things to you, it's because they're projecting their own insecurities onto you. And so I know when I get these comments, I know when I get people who don't agree with me, I'm like, it, it's, it's not me, it's them. And the work that I do, like there's no harming people. I do this from my heart, from my soul, because I want to help people. And so as long as you know that the things that you're doing are not harming people and you're doing that from a good place and there is still people who are hating on you or not agreeing with you, like, then it's on them. Like, there is nothing that you can do to change that. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. This episode? <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video episode. You might be listening actually to this on my podcast, but I really, really appreciate you being here. I really hope this helped and that the perspective shifts maybe helped as well. I'm sending you so much love. If you want to support me, subscribing to the channel, liking this video, commenting down below would really, really help. Mm -hmm. Sending you so much love and until the next time, bye-bye.